So we all know that Apple has been making constant improvements to Apple Music. Let it be the library of music or the sound quality of music, they have worked on each and everything. And if you are an Apple Music user, chances are there are lots of tips and tricks that you might not be aware of. And that's exactly what I'm going to tell you in today's video. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this. So a lot of people have told me that they prefer Spotify's algorithm over Apple Music. And one thing that has always worked out for me is to help Apple Music so that it can suggest me the music that I like. And for example, if I love this song, which is a dope song, kudos to Divine, I can just tap on these three dots and then I can tap on love. And that's it. This single step will help Apple Music to recognize more songs like this and it will automatically fine tune its algorithm according to my preference. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that you can use music from your Apple Music application to set it as your alarm tone. And that's absolutely one of my favorite feature about this. So let me show you how you can do that. First of all, open the Clocks app. Now go into the alarm section. And if you want, you can edit any older alarm or you can set any new alarm. Now tap on sound and tap on pick a song. In case you haven't synced library, just sync it and wait for your library to load. And once all the music from your library will be synced, all you have to do is just tap on that particular song from recently added or maybe by going into songs and then tapping on the particular song. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set a custom song from your Apple Music as your alarm tone. In case you do not have an iPhone but still want to use Apple Music, yes, there are options for you. Firstly, you can download the Android app for Apple Music. And secondly, if you are a Windows user, there's no application that you can download. But yes, you can listen to music online by logging into music.apple.com. So this next trick is for those people who are habitual of nitpicking. And if you're one of those people who are not happy with how your AirPods or maybe your uh, speaker on your iPhone sounds, you can change that. So all you have to do is just go inside settings. Once again, going into music, scroll down a little and tap on EQ. And there you have it. Apple has already made a lot of templates that you can select according to your preference. In my case, I always keep it to custom that is off and yeah some might like increased bass some might like reduced bass so you can try out listening to music in all of them and see whatever works for you so now if i talk about downloading music to your iphone so that you can hear music even if you're not connected to internet so what apple music will do is it will literally download all the songs that you have in your library and it it might take a little storage on your device, but there's an option to get rid of it. And if you're somebody who has low storage on your device, this trick will definitely help you out. So once again, go inside settings and tap on music. Now scroll down a little, tap on optimize storage and toggle it on. Now what this will do is it will automatically analyze for songs that you haven't been listening lately. And yeah, it will just uh, remove its offline download from your Apple Music subscription and will save you a lot of storage. So last year when Apple introduced iOS 15, they really made a lot of improvements to the Photos app. But why exactly am I talking about Photos app if I'm making a video on Apple Music? These two things are linked. Let me show you how. So if you'll go inside Photos app and now tap on For You page, you'll have all these memories that Apple has carefully curated for you. But if you would tap on any of them, As you can see, it has automatically edited these photos and created this beautiful montage for me. But if I want, I can further customize it by using music from Apple Music. So all I have to do is just tap on this music tab and now tap on this add music option. Now there you have it. All the recommendations from Apple Music that I can select. So I'll just go with the roses from the chain smokers and tap on done. Now, one thing that a lot of people might know but are not using it on a day-to-day -day basis is lossless audio. See, lossless audio is something that will help you to listen to the same music that you're currently listening but with much more, uh, I would say, details and will offer a much rich output. So, let's give it a try, shall we? Like each and every step, once again, all we have to do is go into settings, scroll down to the bottom and tap on music. Now, tap on audio quality and toggle on for lossless audio. Now you'll see three options, 
First is cellular streaming, second is Wi-Fi streaming, and third is downloads. Now, if you're somebody who's mostly connected to Wi-Fi networks, I would suggest you to go inside Wi-Fi and then toggle on for high-res lossless. In this prompt, just tap on continue, and that's it. If you're somebody who has to keep an eye on devices storage as well, then I won't recommend you to download songs in high resolution lossless audio format because that would just take up too much storage. So in downloads, I'll just keep it to lossless. I won't be changing it. And when it comes to cellular streaming, it depends upon your usage. If you have sufficient amount of data in your SIM card, you can surely go ahead and select high resolution lossless. But if you do not have such data plan, just go ahead and even lossless or maybe high quality will get the job done for you. Now, yet another thing that is, I would say, a great feature about Apple Music, but I haven't seen a lot of people using it. So yeah, here it goes. So just open Apple Music. Now tap on these three dots and tap on Create Station. Now, as you can see, it has automatically added songs such as Afat, Wapas and Machayenge to my playlist. And this is because it has automatically analyzed these tempos, maybe genre, etc, etc, in order to offer me sound output that is much similar to the one that I played. So yeah, that's yet another method that you can follow in order to listen more music that is similar to the music that you like. And this brings me to the last trick of this video, and that is related to gestures. So Apple Music supports a lot of gestures that can really help you to, you know, use your Apple Music like a pro, I would say. Such as this one. If you would swipe from left to right on any song, you'll see two options. Now, if you'll tap on this purple icon, this particular song will play after the current song. But if you'll tap on orange icon, this particular song will be selected to play last. So according to your preference, you can just tap on any of these or you can even hard swipe on this. And as you can expect in iOS, you can swipe it from right to left also. And here also you get two options. First is to download and second is to delete. Yet another feature that a lot of people are not aware of is this one. So you might know that Apple introduced this feature where you can just, you know, long press on any icon and then tap on these icons and yeah they'll just collect and you can then take it to another home screen if you want but i won't be doing that since i am in love with my home screen setup so yeah there you go you can do pretty same thing in apple music as well here's how so long press on any song and drag it from its place now tap on any other songs that you want to listen to for example like these songs and just drop it to the player and now these songs will automatically be added to your playlist. How cool is that? See, these are the songs that will be playing next. Now, yet another gesture is to use lyrics as seeker. So you might know you get these lyrics while you're listening to any music. Are you aware that you can tap on any of one and the song will automatically start playing from that particular point? For example, if I go and tap on this lyrics, the song automatically started playing from beginning. It's that simple. And last but definitely not the least feature, you can say I am offering you a bonus trick in this video. So if you would just long press on any of the lyrics like this one right here and select a few more lyrics, you can just select these lyrics and tap on Instagram. And it will automatically create this great design looking thing. And yeah, if you want, you can just share it from your account. You might have seen some people doing that. So now you know how to do that. So that is it for this one. Do let me know what are your thoughts about the Apple Music and this video in the comments down below. If you're watching this video till this point, I know you've liked it, which is why you need to express it by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. If you like to stay updated with everything Apple, make sure to download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store and I'll see you in the next one.